Hi, I'm Dawson Church from EFTUniverse.com, and our topic today is tapping for holiday fears. Now, you may have had wonderful associations with the holidays since you were a child. You may remember an unbroken string of fantastic holidays when everything was just wonderful, everything was just peachy in your world, but most of us don't have those associations for every holiday. We may have a mixed bag. We may have had holidays that really felt good to us. And other holidays, maybe we lost a loved one. And we feel sad because the holidays reminds us of their absence. Maybe we didn't get a gift we wanted to get. Maybe we had dreams and visions of what might happen during the holidays. And those dreams and visions failed to materialize. So the chances are you have a mixed bag of both positive and negative associations with the holidays. And this video is designed to help you tap, to do EFT, do some tapping to release those fears, and also install some positive expectations around the holidays. One of the amazing discoveries of the last 20 years in science, in cognitive neuroscience, has been the discovery that our brains literally change depending on the signals we pass through the neurons that make up those brains. So as you take a neural bundle and you pass a signal through that neural bundle repeatedly, the number of neurons in that neural bundle increases. And in fact, the number of synapses, those connective parts of the neuron, can double in an hour of repeat stimulation. You pass a signal through a neural bundle for an hour consistently and the number of connections can double. So your body is noticing which neural pathways you're using and growing those, and the ones that you aren't using tend to shrink. This is the work of Eric Kandel. He won the Nobel Prize for Medicine in 2000 for these discoveries. And this whole new field of neural plasticity, how our brains are being affected by, by the signals that travel through them, is a fascinating new field of science. And this new part of that called self-directed neural plasticity, where we actually use this phenomenon consciously. We change our thoughts, we route signals through neural, neural pathways deliberately, and by doing that, literally change the shape and the structure of our brains. So we'll do a little bit of that as well in the course of the next tapping segment. First of all, though, let's tap on bad events and traumas and problems from our holidays past the ghosts of Christmas past. So think about an event that was a really emotionally traumatizing one for you, and preferably an early event. If you don't have an early event, you can work on an, an adult event. But if you can find an early event from your childhood, and preferably your early childhood, when you were at four, five, six, let's work on that one. So find an event that was a bad event that you associate with the holidays. Give your event a very short name. If it was a movie, what would the movie title be? Now, thinking about your movie and the title, give that emotional trigger a rating on a scale of 0 to 10 based on how strong the emotion is for you. So if you're thinking about an event and it's a really emotionally intense one, it might be a 10 out of 10. If it's a mild one, maybe a 5 out of 10 or a 4 out of 10. If there's no emotional charge, there's a 0 out of 10. And we'll test our work after EFT to see if we can bring our numbers at or close to a 0. Okay, so you now have your event, the name of your event, and your number. Now we'll start tapping. Even though I have this event, so say after me, even though this event happened, name the event, I totally and completely accept myself. Even though this event happened, I totally and completely accept myself. This event happened, name the event, use your words, and I accept myself. Tap over here and say this bad event and name the event. Tap over here and say, this bad event, name the event. Picture the event strongly and name the event. Bad event, name the event. This bad event, 
and I accept myself. And your arm, this bad event. Tapping on your karate chop point, this bad event, and I accept myself. This bad event. Name the event. This bad event. Name the event. That bad event. Name the event. Accept myself. Bad event. Okay, take a breath. Ah, oh, that feels good, doesn't it? Now, think again about the event and give yourself a new rating on that scale from 0 to 10 based on how, how high your emotional triggering is now when you think of the event. So if you're a 9 before, or you may be a 1 or a 2 now, or a 4 or a 5. So score yourself again, think of the event, and get your new number. Now let's tap for any remaining emotional intensity around the event. Maybe you were a 9, now you're a 2. Maybe you're a 7, now you're a 4. Let's tap on the remaining intensity. So tap over here on your karate chop point and say out loud, even though I still have some remaining intensity around the event, I totally accept myself. Some remaining intensity around the event. And I accept myself. This remaining intensity and name the event. This remaining intensity Remaining intensity around the event. I'm not down to a zero yet, but I might be soon, or I might not be, and I accept myself either way. This event. Totally accept myself. Remaining intensity. Remaining intensity around this event. Still some intensity, or maybe it's all gone. Love and accept myself, either way, with or without zero intensity. Ah, <sighs> that feels good, doesn't it? Probably your number has dropped to a zero or a low number, maybe one or two. If it's still high, go ahead and find the nine gamut routine in the EFT manual or on EFT Universe. There's a brief video clip there that will show you how to do the nine gamut routine, and that'll usually bring your number down to a zero. So again, look for the 9 gamut routine on EFT Universe if you aren't at a zero now. Now, we'll focus on tapping in positive associations to the holidays and building those neural bundles that carry those signals of positive good feelings about the holidays. So I want you to tap over here on your quality chop point and imagine some of your favorite things about the holidays. What are your favorite sights? Do you love seeing holiday food or holiday tables laid? Do you love seeing Christmas trees or Hanukkah lights? What are your favorite associations visually with the holidays? What are your favorite associations of sounds of the holidays? Are there songs you love? Do you like certain Christmas carols? So imagine yourself hearing those things. Are there certain scents? smells you associate with the holidays? Do you love the smell of freshly baked cake or of cut pine needles? Imagine that scent. Also, visualize a texture that's good for you. Like you might love the feeling of wrapping paper. You might love the texture of a holiday cake or the feeling of handling something you associate with the holidays, maybe making snowballs, whatever it might be. Then visualize favorite holiday foods, tastes that you really enjoy in the holidays, things you love tasting, that are typical holiday foods, typical holiday tastes, and imagine those, imagine how good it feels to taste those things. So now feeling all of those sensory channels of enjoyment of the holidays. Love in our hearts, feeling good in our bodies, love in our lives, while tapping on all the acupressure points. 
tapping the granny chop point, and say out loud, I feel good in my body. I created this feeling of being good, feeling good, with a simple visualization. Wasn't hard, didn't take a long time to create this great feeling. I did it all by myself. I can feel this good anytime I want. I can recreate this good feeling any time I choose. It's in my body. It's mine. I own this good feeling. And I can choose to feel this good anytime I want. This feeling is mine. This feeling is me. Totally accept myself. Feeling good. I deserve to feel good anytime I choose. I can feel good anytime I choose. I deserve to feel good whenever I choose. This feeling is mine. This feeling is me. I deserve good feelings in my body in this moment, in every moment during the coming year, at any time I choose. Take a deep breath. And you can really make that choice to feel good whenever you choose. So this is our wish for you for the holidays. My wish for you that you feel love, you feel good feelings, you feel overwhelming joy, not just during the holidays, but during the whole of the coming year. Thank you.